Hi everyone, this is Peyton Hatch again with just another short video. Uh, this video is going to address how to create a WGS84 geoid in Infinity to be utilized in Infinity or in your Leica Captivate controller. Uh, this is so that you can essentially apply, apply a geoid to a localized site calibration. So kind of put that into perspective. If you were to go to create coordinate system and do a one step or a two step, it doesn't matter. So I'll do a one step. Well, let's test one. You will have the ability to set your height mode to ellipsoidal or orthometric. Now, if you set your height mode to ellipse to orthometric, that means you are going to marry a position and a height to a point. And you would have to set your geoid to none because you are going to get the position and height from the local point. Now, if you set your height mode to ellipsoidal, this will allow you to utilize a geoid for your elevations. So you would set your geoid to a WGS84 geoid because at this point you are no longer on GRS80. So this geoid has to be created. The GRS80 geoids are pre-generated with Leica has them, but WGS84 geoids do have to be created. So I can create that and then I can say match in position only and my height models will come from the geoid. I would match, I typically match in convergence angle. That way I'm still in the state plane north uh, when I'm doing a 1.1 step. So that, that's just me. But that is what the geoid is for. You can use it for other reasons, but that's kind of the purpose today. So I'll minimize this out. Now, in order to get started, you will need license of infinity and you is also will need to get the NGS binary files and the executable files. Uh, if you need these, I can zip it up and send it to you. Uh, we have all this on file just available for our clients. Or I can just send you the geoid for say te Texas and Oklahoma, which I'm going to build right now. All right, so how do we get started? In Infinity, you'll go to your tools, coordinate systems, and you'll go to coordinate system manager. And you will go create geoid filled file and you go, um, G from geoid model, because we do have the geoid model. So the geoid model will be from a source file. So right here, geoid model, you go from a source file, and this is where you have to browse out to the executable right here. So what I just selected was um, what I showed you just a second ago. Description, you give it a name. This is uh, Texas and Oklahoma WGS 84 18 for geoid 18. Coordinate type is geodetic. You have to set it to geodetic and you have to send your ellipsoid, set your ellipsoid to WGS 84. And you must hit this checkbox, apply on local side. This is what allows you to attach it on the controller and utilized. So what are my extents? My southwest corner, my northeast corner, just latitude and longitudes. So I found the easiest way to do that is just to pull up Google Earth and go drop a pin. Here's my southwest corner, here's my northeast corner. So yes, I have encompassed a very large area. It's perfectly fine. So let's bring this back over. Let's go to my properties of this. Bring it back over here. There are my latitude and longitudes. So we'll grab the latitude. So for the northeast corner down here, so I got to make sure I put in this bottom one first. And then make sure we do it west. It is very critical. You input those W's and the N's. If you don't, your pins are going to go in the wrong place. So just, uh, just something to be aware of. So now let's go grab our southwest pin. There it is. There's our latitude. And there's our longitude. There we go. Oh, bounce. There we go. Uh, as you can see, you can also do a center radius and just pick out from the center point and out. Uh, so I just do a bounce. I think it's easier to encompass a larger area. Now, spacing. Um, 1500 meters, uh, I think it's a nautical miles what the NGS does these on. Um, so I'm just gonna do a thousand meter spacing. 
because I could do it for 1500 meters absolutely, it'd be plenty tight, but this is such a small area and the data collectors have plenty of memory now, I'll just do a, do a thousand meters. And so if you only know those in feet, you can swim, simply switch your units right here and, uh, and convert those to the feet. So I'll keep it in meters for now. Pick your pathway on where you want this to go. So yes, I'm gonna. I have an 18 geoids file here that I'm gonna create. I'm actually going to put this in a. Uh, I have a Texas folder, so I'm gonna go stick this in a uh, Texas coordinates folder, and I'll go uh, Texas and Oklahoma WGS 84 18 geoid. Yeah, just go 18 G. <laughs> you know what? Be the same g18 there we go and we'll press ok and as long as my settings are all correct so apply on local site wgs84 geoid18 all my extents we hit create and this will just create that geoid file it'll become an option that is selectable here in your list and so you can see I've already created one for the 12B. It's right here. And here's that checkbox for apply on local side. And once this is done processed, because it, it is extracting right now, it does take a second for this field file to be created. Uh, once it's created, uh, you can put it out onto your data collector. It's just a transfer user objects, transfer the geoid onto the data collector. And it will become available to select. So there it is. And on my computer, where did I put that? Where are my coordinates? And I have a Texas coordinates. There is that file that I can now copy and paste onto my controller. So I'll just do it really quickly so people can utilize it. So I'm gonna copy this. Now I do have a simulator. So I'll just simulate putting it onto an SD card or a USB stick. So under data, GPS, geoid, you paste that geoid field file, 12B, 12G. And then here on the controller, you can go to settings, tools, transfer user objects, and transfer a geoid file from the SD card to the internal memory. And as you can see, I would want the 18. And I press OK. Transfer successful. No objects to be transferred additionally. All right, guys, that is all I had. That's how you generate those geoid field files. And please let me know if you have any questions.